Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So today I'm doing another versus. Um, I am comparing the Beauty Bakery and the Black Opal Powder. Okay, <laughs> I'm just gonna move the pants because it's just. But okay, um, this is gonna be kind of like a vlog type of versus because I actually have other things to do today and I'm getting ready for it so I'm like, why not incorporate it into this video? So, for my powders, here are the two powders. My dresser's a little dirty, but here is the Beauty Bakery Better Not Bitter Baking Flour. I don't know if it's gonna focus, but it's in the shade yellow. And this is the Black Opal Powder, and this one is in the shade 200. They're both really high rated baking powders some of the best on the market a lot of people rave about these so I figured let's find the best powder the whole point of these versus videos is to compare two really great products not knocking each other but just finding out which one is the better quality which one lasts longer which one gives the best performance so we could save some coin and only buy one <laughs> I'm running out of my ColourPop my favorite concealers ever but I'm gonna try to squeeze the last little bit out of them to use it for today's video. So let me finish my makeup and I will get back to you. Okay, so I think on my left side I'm gonna do Beauty Bakery and on my right side I'm going to do Black Opal. Now, my only concern with this experiment here is this is a yellow powder and this is a brown powder. And I don't wanna look like I'm wearing two different powders because I am going to work. So, I think I'm just gonna have to take one for the team and look a little crazy today for the video. So I am going to apply my powder and I'll get back with you and I'm done with my makeup. All right guys, I am finished. I did my makeup, slight work, slight work. On my lips, I use the ColourPop lip liner in the shade bonus points and a buxom lip. Hold on, let me get it out. A buxom lipstick in the shade Poison Nectar. I need to wear a pink lip because I'm wearing pink shoes and it doesn't really go with anything else so I needed to find a way to tie in with the pink with the pink. Anyways, let's get back to this video. Okay, so you can't even really tell that I am wearing two different, um, I guess the side is a little bit brighter, but um, you can't really, it's not that noticeable. My T-zone, I actually mixed the two. I wanted to see how they perform together if they stand up better working together. So it's on my forehead, my nose, and my chin. I have both the Beauty Bakery and the Black Opal. This side is Beauty Bakery under my eyes and over here. And this side is Black Opal under here and down here. So I'm gonna wear this throughout the day. When I get back home tonight, I will do a check-in and how this went and I will give my final verdict. I also wanted to talk a little bit more about the products. I'm like so out of breath, this camera is so heavy. Okay, but let's, I'm gonna talk a little bit more about the products. Um, I'm looking up the Beauty Bakery Flower Setting Powder. This one is in the shade yellow. This retails for $24, which I think is a lot. It's, it's kind of a lot, you know, like it's in the middle. It's kind of reasonable, kind of overpriced. This pan isn't that big. It's really not that big at all. You don't get a whole lot of product in this. If I could compare it to, let me compare it to the Airspun Baking Powder. That thing is huge, holds so much product. It's like five bucks and it works just as well. Let me show you, let me compare the sizes. Okay, this is my Airspun Powder. It's huge, really deep. There's, there, I've, I've had this for like over a year. Angelique and I share it and I still have powder left in it and this is Beauty Bakery. It's not that big, um, it's huge size difference. You're getting a lot less than this for a lot more. Just saying. A little pricey in my opinion. It says, well first of all, Beauty Bakery is vegan. Hello. 
um, flower sitting powder reduces redness and allows you to set your foundation in place for a long day's wear. With an HD feature, it smooths out and softens your complexion while reducing appearance of fine lines and imperfections, leaving you with a beautiful matte finish. Yep, that's it. So if you could take a closer look at the flower right now, it's pretty smooth. Look at that, that is so smooth. I see the yellow tint, I like the yellow tint. I like how it brightens up my under eye. I think it's just perfect. It's so smooth by touch, super matte, super dry. I like that, it looks good. All right, so let's look up Black Opal. All right, so I'm on the site and I think they have, yeah, they have two different types of powders. One is the Invisible Oil Blocking Loose Powder and that retails for $9.99. But the one I have, yeah, it's the True Color Soft Velvet Finishing Powder. I didn't even realize there was two different kinds. I don't know why I picked the one that I have, but okay. <laughs> um, I have the shade 200. And this one is actually a little bit cheaper. It's $9.25. So it says it's hypoallergenic, translucent loose powder has been formulated in shades that complement your skin tone and sits makeup to a beautiful silky translucent translucent, translucent finish for all skin types so let's take a look at this side also pretty smooth um I don't really like the brown tint that this translucent powder has. I like when my powder brightens my under eye. I don't think this one really brightens it at all. This side does look a little bit more um, dewy. I don't think it's as matte. I believe it says it's matte, but I don't think it looks as matte as this side does. By touch, it's soft. It's a little sticky, so yeah. I do think this one isn't as absorbent as the Beauty Bakery one, but it's holding up good. I These powders are really soft and very fine milled, which I love about them. Um, both rated very highly. Let's compare the sizes of the two. <laughs> Help you understand how big this is. This is in comparison to the Airspun powder, how deep the pot is. This one is super deep. Look how big this one is. It's huge, it's like double the Airspun. You get a lot of product in this, you do. This is a lot. It's not as big as the Aerospun in diameter, but it is pretty big, I like that. It's really deep, so you do get a lot for your money here. This is only $9.25, it's really good. In comparison to the Beauty Bakery, you can see that this one is a lot bigger, and obviously a lot deeper. All right, guys, that's that on that. I'm going to head off now. I will check back in on you guys tonight. So about six hours will go by. So that's a really good wear test. I will also be moving around a lot, maybe sweating, hopefully not. But this powder is going to go through a lot today. So we should get a fair chance on how this is going to perform. And we shall see. Um, I don't really have any predictions. Honestly, I, I don't know which will hold up better. But I'm eager to find out tonight, like you guys. So I'll check back out on you guys later on tonight. Y'all. I didn't even have to work today. <laughs> I went all the way to work. As you see, I got dressed. Put on my makeup. I went all the way to work. And realize I didn't even work today so that's that I'm gonna continue this video I'm gonna wear this until 10 o'clock because that's when I would have gotten off anyways and we'll continue this wear test all right guys so it is now 10 o'clock this is the time I would be home and I am oily I didn't even do much like I didn't even end up going to work like I was I wasn't supposed to, but you know, I thought I was supposed to. And this is oily, my nose. I, I, feel, I feel like, I don't think my nose has ever been this oily when using the Aerosmith, just saying. Like this is oily. I feel like it, it looks like it didn't even bake. All right, well, 
I've got Waka Flocka there in the back. <laughs> but um, anyways, so the beauty bakery side, we're oily. We're, okay, maybe not oily underneath the eyes, but we're dewy for sure. Um, by touch, we're sticky. It's still a little like dry, but like it's it's poking through. It's give it another hour or so and it'll be here. On this side, I don't really get oily over here, so this is pretty much the same, but it is starting to wear away the madness. My nose is awful. Let's look at the black opal side. Even stickier. Even stickier. But looking at each of them head on, You guys, this is tough. I think this is probably the closest versus we've had to this being a tie. Honestly, and I'm being honest, I really, really wanted the black opal to hold up better because it's cheaper, it's bigger, you're getting more product for your money and you don't have to pay that much. But, when I turn my head into the light, I feel like this side is much oilier underneath here. It's more dewy here. Here, I'm mainly getting the oiliness around here, my nose, and up here. But underneath my eyes, I still feel like it's set. It's still kind of set right underneath here. Like, I feel like this side can last for like an hour more. This side, maybe 45 minutes, 30 minutes. Like, this was close. This was really close. The forehead still looks pretty good. The chin looks good. My nose is the most oily part of my face, so it's cracking. So yeah, that's gone. But under eyes is where we really were testing. Because this is Black Opal, this is Beauty Bakery, and the T-Zone is both of them. Um, Y'all, I'm going to have to give it to Beauty Bakery. Beauty Bakery one. It's holding up better. And that's the truth. But it's real news. So Beauty Bakery one. $24. For a baking powder, it's not a lot of product, but it's lasting me longer. Not by much though. Not by much. But it's, it's in compared to the Black Opal, it held up a little bit better. Alright guys, that's it for this versus. I really hope you guys learned something. That's why I do these videos. So, you know, we're testing which one is the best product. So you can only buy one and that helps me too because I restock on my faves. Um, yeah, but I really hope you guys enjoy this. I know you guys love these verses so much. These are the most... Well, our most popular video on this channel is the verses. That's the very first one. And the second one is almost 3,000. You guys really like those they get a lot of views really fast so i could tell you guys like it so if you like it make sure you give this video a thumbs up okay that lets me know that you really like these and then please comment below the next verses i should do um and yeah please do not forget to like comment subscribe and share also you can follow our youtube's instagram link down below as well as our personal social media sites and thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye